Hi everyone. Welcome to Art Sonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Kat Arguetta, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Art Sonia gallery. Hi, I'm Catherine Arguetta and I'm a middle school art teacher at Cavazos Middle School in Lubbock, Texas. Today, we'll be creating artwork using our hands. So come on with me. What you will need today is a piece of paper, a pencil, and some color pencils. Today, what you're going to be doing is tracing your hand, okay? Now, you want to try and make sure that when you're tracing your hands, you are not overlapping the drawings of your hands. Now, you can play with the edges of your paper and have some of your fingers fall off of the page. You just really don't want your hands to overlap each other. So that was easy enough. The next thing you're going to do is add some swirls. Now these swirls can be on your hand or on the background. And you don't have to break the swirls in order to switch places. So if I were to have a swirl right here, I would just keep it going. Just like that, okay? Now, with the swirls, you don't want to keep them just a simple line because we are going to color in these swirls. So you wanna add a second line, so that way it's easier to color in. So I'm gonna do this swirl all over my paper. Once you start to color, the main thing is to make sure that you have two or three colors just for your hands and two or three colors just for the background. So I'm going to break this up into cool and warm colors. So I'm going to have a green, a purple, and a blue for my background. Those are all cool colors. And I'm going to have a red, an orange, and a yellow, which are all warm colors for my hands. Now, you are only going to be coloring in the swirls, nothing else. So, if I'm using cool colors for my background and warm colors for my hands, it's going to be quite tricky. So, the best and easiest way is to work one swirl at a time. So, I'm gonna start with this swirl right over here. And I'm going to color in the part of the swirl that is on the hand first. So I'm gonna start with red, and I'm not going past my hand because again, the warm colors are just for my hand. And now that I have that part of the swirl that's on my finger colored in warm, I'm going to go ahead and pick purple and color in the part of the swirl that is on the background. Again, make sure you stop right at the fingers because cool colors are only for the background. You can also alternate. So since that one was red, I'm gonna go ahead and color this part of the swirl orange because orange is a warm color and it is on my hand. So now that I've showed you how to do the swirls, I'm gonna go ahead and continue finishing the rest of my swirls and show you the finished product.
So now that I've finished coloring all of my spirals, the next and last step is to outline your hands with a black color pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. there you have it. You have a really cool abstract piece using your hands. Thanks for watching. Bye!